Hi, you guys. This is going to be a collective uh, general love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Hi, Cappies, my fellow Cappies. I am a Capricorn uh, Mars. Sorry, hold on one second, guys. Just got to push my chair up a little bit. I'm a Capricorn Mars and Jupiter. So, um, and I'm a Taurus North Node. I have quite a bit of Earth in my chart, but anyways. <laughs> Um, so you guys, I hope this message finds you in good health and I hope that you're doing amazingly today and happy. Um, today is June 11th. Okay. So we are in the current energies of this new moon solar eclipse. Mercury is still in retrograde. Um, it has been now for about, I don't know, two and a half weeks or so. I could be wrong. could be longer or shorter. I don't know. Um, but this is intense, intense energy and this is an intense, intense time, um, for everybody. Okay. Uh, so I just want to dive right into this, you guys. Um, this is going to be from right now, current energies. This is the moonology deck that I'm using because duh, or like all this cosmic stuff is happening. Um, so this is right now, June 11th through the next week, seven days. Okay. Through the 18th, I suppose, or next Friday. Um, so we're going to see what this how this eclipse and, and what's happening and the energies that are surrounding uh, Capricorn in your life and in any kind of love connection that you may have. Um, so let's just dive right in, guys. Oh, that was fast. <gasps> Emotions are running high. Wow, you guys got a super moon. This is like a full moon on steroids. It's like when the moon is so big and bright and close to the earth, it's beautiful. We just had a super moon, I wanna say in May, the end of May. I think this full moon in Scorpio at the end of May was a super full moon, a flower moon, um, all these things. I could be wrong, but I wanna say that's when it was. So uh, Capricorn, I almost said Scorpio. Capricorns from, from that point, the end of May, to right now through this next week, emotions have been running very high for you. I feel like something shifted um, in your connection or in your life um, as far as a love connection goes where it, it's just what I said, the energy shifted. And since about the end of May um, for maybe about, I wanna say about a good month though. Okay, about a good month. I feel like this energy has shifted for a lot of you Capricorns, okay? Emotions are running high. Let's see what else comes out for you guys. Have my deck upside down. Not that it matters. I don't read reversals. So if it comes out reversed, I read energy and I read intuitively. So, so a lot of times when you guys are watching my readings, if I pull out, oh my gosh. Whoa, you guys. Holy crap. You got conclusions are within reach. So you have a super moon and now you have a full moon eclipse. We literally just had an eclipse this morning or last night, yesterday, whatever. It depends where you're at time zone wise. Wow. Eclipses are wild cards. They bring, they eclipse things out of our life that are no longer serving us. They, they just take it right out. Um, and this could be anything like, it could be a way of thinking. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be anything. They also, it's wild. So it could take things out of your life. It could bring things into your life. We have this new moon that just happened, which is all about newness and new beginnings. Full moons, first of all, are about climax. It's a climactic energy. Um, it's the end of a cycle for the moon. The moon waxes and waxes and waxes and it gets full and then it wanes back to a new moon, okay? So you guys, you will hear me always talking about, you know, death becomes life, endings bring beginnings. This is this, it's just a phase. Emotions are running high and conclusions are within reach, Capricorn. Wow. This is beautiful energy. Just, oh my gosh, you guys. Bottom of the deck. I always honor the bottom of the deck because for me, this is what the universe wants you to really know right now. Um, it's like a direct message from them. This is all energy I'm pulling, right? But like this is for me always like the universe, like a little PS, PS from the universe. Capricorn luck is on your side. I just heard do it, go for it. 
Capricorn, if you're thinking of doing something that's wing, this, first of all, this is Cupid's arrow. This is Cupid's bow. A new moon. We're in a new moon right this second. Right this second, we're in new moon energy. And we just had a solar eclipse. So you have the new moon and the eclipse. Something is about to, to shift in your life, Capricorn. A cycle is closing so a new one can begin. That's what this is. New moon in Sagittarius, there's a lot of fire and passion. A lot of fire and passion around you, Capricorns. A lot of emotion. Capricorns, I feel like you guys are very, it does say conclusions are with each, but I, I, I want it. What's coming through for me is you're very close to achieving a goal. There's something that's weighing heavily on your mind or something. But luck is on your side, Capricorn. So, you know, I'm never going to say, oh, you should do it. But for me, this is the universe saying, yes, so luck is on your side. That's Cupid's arrow, by the way. Someone's, someone, someone's been shot by Cupid's bow. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Put it right there. All right. Let's see what is coming in for love for Capricorns over the next seven days. Wow, you guys, this is insane. Every single reading I've done is just so this energy that this eclipse and new moon and, and everything is brought in is just so it's beautiful. It's intense. It's very intense. For Capricorn, please and thank you. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. There's someone here, Capricorn, that <laughs> it feels like a soulmate, maybe. I don't know. It's past life, though. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And then you have forgiving and learning. So you have past life. You have known each other before. You have honeymoon. There's some type of forward movement happening here. I feel like that's your goal or that's someone's goal here in this connection. There's a connection um, that the emotions are running high. It, it's climactic. Something has, it's gone like this. Like it's come, come, it's like grown, 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 grown. And then it, now it's like at this, it, it's ready to just, it's like a volcano ready to burst. And there's forward movement here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Someone might want to just, get away with you Capricorn. It says honeymoon, but you could be going on your honeymoon. Um, but for me, this is a honeymoon stage in a relationship. And then you have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. you you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. Capricorns, you guys have been doing a lot of that. You've been doing a lot of forgiving and healing. You're learning from your past mistakes which is fantastic. Hold on, guys. Just bear with me for a moment. I'm seeing what comes in here. Someone is seeking forgiveness or hoping for forgiveness here. Past life. You've known each other before. This could just be someone from your past, but... It, to be very honest with you, it doesn't feel that way. It feels literally what it says. Your your souls have known each other before. So let's get in this. Let's just dive right into the tarot, you guys. Let's just see what's going on here, okay? Tell me, please, about this past life relationship and the emotions running high. Conclusions. Luck is on your side. For Capricorn, for the collective of Capricorn. Oh, thank you. Mm. Someone blocked somebody. Someone, I want to say, turned their back on somebody. But someone, someone, someone cut somebody out. And this, this for you as well, Capricorn. This is um, not necessarily matters of love. But with this King of Swords coming out, the King of Swords is someone who's head over heart. They, they're not, they don't do very well with emotion. It's not that they don't have a heart, just like the Queen of Swords. It's that they protect their heart with their sword. 
their sort of truth. So if someone wasn't being completely honest here, it feels like someone cut something out. Like, because, you know, this is, a, it's, it's, it's Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy, but this sort of truth that he wields is, or wields, or wield, wields, you wield a sword. Yes. <laughs> um, it's, it's his decision maker. It's a decision maker. And what it is, is it cuts things out that like aren't necessary or aren't serving him or aren't, isn't the truth. Someone is, someone is seeking forgiveness. And Capricorn, this is also you forgiving and learning your past. Yeah. As you release and heal the past. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what else comes out. For Cap. Thank you. Five of Wands. This is conflict. Competition. Confusion. Chaos. It could be chaos. It's trying to figure something out. Um, Capricorn, I don't know if this is you or the person you're dealing with, but there's some kind of resistance here or there was, I don't know. There's resistance. This is a card of resistance as well. Someone blocked someone out. They resisted something in the past. They resisted it. They were thinking with their head and not a heart. Yeah. And that's caused conflict or, or confusion or... Um, this is also a card of competition. So let's get, let's get more. Let's see what comes up. For the... Justice. Wow. Libra energy coming out strong. Um... This is karma balancing, Capricorn. With this forgiving and learning, uh, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. It feels like your karma is coming in. Um, this is the justice card also. It could be legal stuff, marriage, all that stuff too. But it feels like something's coming in and it's balancing out in your life. Maybe you're finding balance again in your life, Capricorn, but um, after a time of, you know, chaos, conflict, and confusion, okay, maybe that's, you had to cut some stuff out of your life, Capricorn, like you had to release some things that weren't serving you, you had to cut stuff out, okay, this could be you or your person, but there is a past life. Uh, soul recognition here feels like with this le with this Libra with the justice it feels like this is um you guys have maybe a soul contract maybe this is you guys were supposed to come together maybe in this life to balance out karma I don't know I don't know Either way, what I do know is I feel like this is, you've learned some things, you're, you've healed, you're, you're releasing the past, you're kind of looking to the future with like open arms, um, which Capricorns, for you guys, that's hard to do. It is. You guys are very accustomed to, you know, your way of life and your routine and, you know, you're very work and you're focused on work and all these things and, you know, all that. You're very cookie cutter sometimes. You know, it's, it's comforting. Change is something you don't particularly care for. My father is a Capricorn and I have Capricorn in my chart. Like I said, I know I get it. You like feeling safe or, or in your comfort zone. I'm pulling two energies. <clears throat> Capricorns in the past, you cut something out. That was ex very, there was a lot of conflict, arguing, Never seeing eye to eye. Couldn't figure things out. Could have been marriage, divorce with the justice card here. I don't know. Anyways, the scales are balancing for you with karma. There's someone here that you have a past life connection with. 
and you're going to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together with this person. It says honeymoon. You can marry this person with a justice card. This could be someone you want to marry. Let's find out. What else is coming in for Capricorn? I just looked at this timestamp and it was 1515, which breaks down to 66, which I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I know sixes in the tarot are all about victory and movement and moving forward. You have the hangman here. Hangman. Someone Capricorn is seeing things completely different. Maybe they weren't, I don't know. This is a whole new perspective on things. That's what this is. It's enlightenment. Maybe Capricorn, you've been enlightened. Maybe you're seeing things in a whole new light, a whole new perspective. Maybe after forgiving and learning and, and cutting away things that weren't serving you and, and all that. I just heard stop resisting when I looked at this card. So Capricorn, maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one blocking someone out or maybe you did block someone out because you were confused. You, you still had a lot of, or you did, or you do have a lot of chaos or conflict in your heart and in your mind. It's something you're passionate about. I feel like Cappies, you've just been really trying to find your balance in life. Either way, there's good karma come, or there's there's things being balanced out. I should say, I shouldn't say that. There's good, there's good, there's things being balanced out here in your life. And then you have the five of swords. It feels like Capricorn, either you or your person. This is a card to me, the energy I'm picking up off of this is that you got your way in something, but it didn't make you happy. Like you got your way, you got what you wanted, but it didn't make you happy. Or your person got what they wanted and it didn't make them happy. Someone here feels like they deceived themselves or they... They just aren't happy, I feel, with, with something. And they're taking the sword of truth, same sword, the king of swords is wielding right here. And they want to speak a truth. There's a communication. What else for Capricorn? Mm. Someone, yeah, someone's done a lot of healing with this forgiving and learning. Someone's got a lot of healing. They've, they've released, they're releasing their past. They're taking all their lessons, everything they've learned and they're moving forward. This is taking lessons that you've learned. See, I has all these swords under his arm and his sword right here and, 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 you know, moving forward. But this, like I said, is a card of someone who it's like they got away with something, but they tricked themselves. They're not happy with how things how the chips landed or whatever. This is hoping and praying. This is healing. This is reflection. This is quiet. This is silence. Someone is hoping for something here. They're, they're praying for something here. I feel like it has something to do with this justice card. They're hoping that things will be balanced out or that there's justice where an injustice was, was, was served or whatever. This is an injustice to me. This is someone who did an injustice to themselves. Maybe. All right. How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Cappy, someone doesn't want to lose you. Someone's holding tight onto you, actually. 
and someone wants to talk to you. They want to, they want to, they want to communicate with you. And, and, and if this is not your person then and it's you, just put the roles where they need to go. Okay. I just, I don't want to keep saying it because it's, it gets, it's, it's tiring. It's draining you guys. And I want to give you the best possible reading I can. Page of Cups. This is an offer, a non-offer. This is a message. It's communication. Someone wants to communicate to you, Capricorn. They want it. This is an apology. It's a, it's a message of love is what it is. Maybe someone who was holding back before. This is a card of like the miser, the, it's kind of like a greedy energy, like all my, my, mind. Like they keep their cards hooked, like close to their vest. They don't want to lose anything. You know, Capricorns are known for control. You know, they like things like this. And this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here with this card. Could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, we also have, just in case you guys even care, um, we have the Libra energy. We have a lot of swords here. We have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Anyways, it doesn't matter, you guys. It's the energy that I'm reading. Someone wants to say, I'm sorry, and offer a cup of love. They want to offer. It's a message. It's a message. This person is coming in, Capricorn, a little, they're a little weary. It's weary. It's timid. They're not sure. They're not sure, but they're going to do it. What is the next move Capricorn's person is going to take towards Capricorn? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Holy crap, you guys. You got the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Sorry, I was covering my mouth because I was like so in shock. And these flew out together. This is all your energy, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term... Um, this is very serious. This is long-term commitment. It's, it's financial stability, financial abundance. It's abundance in family, abundance in the home life, abundance in work, abundance in everything like that. Things that you can touch and feel on a daily basis, your children, your, your loved ones, your, your, your divine partner, your, your house, your pets, you know, this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a, this is completing a major cycle. I mean, this is a 10, 10 of pentacles. Wow, Capricorns. And then you have the queen of pentacles, who to me is like the perfect partner. She's very earthy. She's down to earth. She's um, nurturing and compassionate and she's beautiful and she's kind and she's, um, she's like the kind of person who would like make, I don't know. Like, she's probably, like, she really loves cooking and, you know, I, I don't know. Like, she's just, she's a very homey kind of energy. Could be stubborn energy, too. But see how she's holding this pentacle? And then you have the ace of pentacles, which is a, it's a new beginning in commitment, in long-term commitment. It's financial abundance. It's abundance in life. Capricorns, Wow. I can't believe these three came out all together like that. There is so much green in these. It's so much heart. It's so much heart in this, the heart chakra. It's green. It's emerald. It's that beautiful kind of coloring. This is all luck. Beautiful energy, Cappies. There's a huge offer coming in. Huge offer coming in, Capricorn. This is... Hold on. I want to pull on this. I want to pull on these three that just came out. I want to hear more about this. Because someone, someone held back. Someone resisted. Someone's... This is, there's a past life connection. There's movement here. There's this honeymoon stage. There's this four of pentacles. And then there's this karmic justice. There's balance coming in here, Capricorn. So, and someone is hoping and praying and they've healed and they've, 
there's a, first of all, this is silence. So you and your person, there's been silence between you or minimal communication at best. This is total, complete, like shh, quiet silence. You don't hear anything. It's nothing. All this energy is beautiful. And now it's coming into this kind of energy. So let's see what they say. Let's see what the cards have to say. <gasps> Four of Wands. Holy shit. Wow. This is marriage, engagement, commitment. It's the Four of Wands. There's, see, there's Four of Wands. That's 11-11. It's new beginnings. Wow. There's, this is marriage. It's this long-term everything. Passionate, passionate, passionate beginnings. You could be um, switching jobs or careers right now, Capricorn. Um, I'm just getting that with, sorry, with this Three of Cups, a celebration. It's like a card of union and celebrating and coming together with friends and loved ones. But this is a card of union. So it feels like Capricorn that there is someone here that you're wanting to be in union with or someone that's wanting to be in union with you. You hear that? The ice cream man? That's not an accident. Ice cream. What's ice cream all about? It's good, it's comforting, it's sweet, it makes you happy, um, it's cold. Someone could have been cold here in the past. It's silence. And it melts fast when it's in the heat. And I feel like Capricorn overall in this, in this connection you're with, there's, the heat is on. And something is melting fast. Yes, I did get all that from the ice cream man driving by. <laughs> That's how it works. Capricorn, there could be a third party here. You or your person could like have something else going on with someone or maybe they did. Either way, Capricorn, there's someone here that is hoping for a new beginning with you and they're looking at long-term stability, marriage, a family, like all the things. There's financial abundance here. There's love here. There's, I mean, this is, this is powerful. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Feels like, Capricorn, you've met your perfect match. Feels like this is the energy that's coming in, right? Tell me about this. Three of Cups. Mm. Wow. Wow. So you got the moon. Three cards. First of all, all these came out together all at once. They all flipped over in my deck together. So I asked about this Three of Cups, which is a card of union. The moon. This is things hidden, secrets, the unknown, what lies beneath the surface, that kind of energy. It's also psychic ability, intuition. Someone here is following their intuition in this connection. In the past, someone blocked it out and they were using their head over their heart. They didn't, it was like they were being logical about it. It was like the logistics of a relationship. And when it comes to matters of the heart and love, you can't think with your brain. Your brain is the thing that's going to talk you out of it and try to protect you. It's that fear, the ego, that devil energy, Capricorn energy. You guys know. You guys, ugh. Capricorns are known for this. That's why I'm saying you guys. You could be the ones that block somebody out because you started feeling too much. So you said, okay, I'm, I, I can't, I'm out, I'm out. Because you felt... You felt all of this. Or this is what this person felt for you, Capricorn. Maybe both of you guys felt this for each other. Either way, things are about to be revealed. Things are coming to the light. Things that have been hidden are coming to the light. 
this is the, oh my God, this is, this is happily ever after Capricorn. Happily ever after. Happily ever after. Marriage, long-term commitment, stability, new beginnings, building life with someone, being stable, being grounded. You know, it's all about this balancing act. It's balance. The universe is bringing balance into your life, Capricorn. And it's up to you whether you want to receive it or not, right? But you, to me, this is good karma, Cappies. You remain good people. You remain strong. You, you know, you've been through some crap, big crap. With this Five of Swords energy, this is deceptive. Like someone could have decept deceived you in the past. This this Four of Pentacles here, this could be, um, you know, and we have the Judgment card, which I said was about like marriage. It could be divorce. It could be legal matters, things of that nature. But it to me just feels like things are balancing out for you finally. And then you have the Four of Pentacles here, the miser. So you could have been dealing with a miser, someone who was greedy, money hungry, and just like wanted to keep everything for themselves. Very, almost narcissistic behavior sometimes. That's what I get off of this, depending on what's around it. But you guys, with, with all this, the King of Swords, and it, it's just, yeah. <sighs> Capricorn, someone is working up the strength and bravery and courage. To, to come towards you to to do this to this this ten of cups they want to reveal things to you they want to speak their truth it's long-term commitment it's long-term stability it feels very balanced it feels very um fertile like a fertile new beginning in love abundance life it's beautiful energy. This is happily ever after. This is marriage. It's love. It's children. It's whatever it is to you when you think in your mind, Capricorn, of this person or when they think of you, this is what they think of. This is what they daydream about. They fall asleep thinking about this. It's that kind of energy. And when you feel this way towards someone, especially maybe someone that, you know, wasn't honest in the past with you it can be scary so you have to find your inner strength this also is about taming the inner beast so capricorns i feel like your person or you are taming your inner beast you have a wild beast within that wants to break free i guess with this connection or whatever it could be your person but you're taming that but you're finding strength or your person is finding strength okay and they want to bring something back together here. Remember, you have past life. You've known each other before. Tell me about this past life card, please, for Capricorn. Yeah. Big, big, big love here with the King of Cups. Someone is deeply, deeply in love, Capricorn. But this is not given love. This is love that's in the heart. It's in the head. It hasn't been given to somebody yet. So, Cappies, this could be you that hasn't expressed your love or given your cup of love. And this is a very mature energy. This is a mature emotional connection or, or love or bond or energy. He's holding back. It feels like the perfect moment. They're trying to wait for the perfect moment. But, Cappies, we all know that there's no perfect moment. You just got to do it, right? You just got to do it. All right. What is the final outcome here between Capricorn and their person? The devil. Do you guys coming right out in your reading? Bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor, Capricorn. If you're a cross watcher, just put the rolls where they need to go, you guys. I know I've been saying that kind of throughout the reading, but it gets very draining saying that. There's a huge, so Capricorn, you guys have completed big life cycles. You've, you've learned lessons here or your person has learned lessons and the wheel is turning in your favor. Okay. And Capricorn, if this isn't, this could be you. We have the devil, the queen of swords and the seven of swords or the seven of wands. Sorry. There's a lot of lust here, a lot of passion. Someone 
is trying, like, there, it feels like control mode with this devil Capricorn energy. <laughs> First and foremost, I'm feeling a lot of, it's like a lot of sexual energy for someone here. Capricorn, I have to be honest with you. What I feel like is your person or you are really standing up for this connection. You're speaking your truth about this connection and you want to speak your truth to your person about this connection, how you really feel or they want to tell you, right? They're standing up and they're, they want to, they want to take a stand and do what's right. They want to cut away anything with the sword. They want to now, first of all, now you guys have divine counterparts on here. These are, this is soulmates, twin flames, whatever you want to call it. To me, soulmates and twin flames are two different things entirely. But for me, this is soulmate and twin flame. You guys are, you guys have each other's backs in life. See, you guys both have weapons. You guys, you guys will cut down anything that comes between you. You'll cut away any naysayers and people with negative energy and um, people that just, whatever. But this is also people, to, you too that need to speak their truths to each other. They want to communicate. This is that head over heart energy. But when you have these divine counterparts, I mean, they're, they're, they're ride or die. This right here, the king and queen, king and queen of swords. They're bad asses. You guys very, very wise, very smart, intelligent people. You can't, you can't try to pull circles around these two. They're a power couple. These two are a power couple. And that's why you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here. This is a brand new beginning. Long-term commitment is brand new. It's coming in. This is financial abundance and stability. Like I said, I feel like you guys come together and you're just powerful. And you just cut away all the bullshit, everything. You guys are super connected. You have the Four of Wands here. You have the Ten of Cups here, happily ever after. But these are two people that need to speak their truths. Remember I said the King of Cups came out. This is a lot of love. It's unconditional love. It's it's big, big, big love. But it's love that's been ungiven. It hasn't been given to someone. That's what this comes in. Someone is doing what's right. They're taking a stand and they're ready to fight up. They're ready to fight up. They're ready to stand up for this connection. There might be people... Like I said, saying things about this connection or, you know, and it could just be people that care or are looking out for your best interest, Cappy, but you have to follow your heart at the end of the day, right? And your heart, everything inside of you is telling you, yes, this is the one. This is the one. I want to make this offer or they want to, you know, this offer is coming in. It's huge. It's going to change so much. There's so much happiness, abundance. It's stability. It's everything. Happily ever after. And you have the Wheel of Fortune here. Faded. It's serendipity. And you have the rainbow. Faded. Serendipity. All right, guys. Let's get into some Oracle. Let me clean up my little tarot mess. I'm like the worst, you guys. But that's what it is. I read intuitively and I just pull cards as I go. And the messages come in. I don't use spray. Yeah. The anchor. Very first card. Someone is coming in to anchor something down. I told you. They don't want to lose this. They don't want to lose this with the uh, four of pentacles that I showed earlier. Remember I said, I said, it's like the card of greed, the miser, someone held back. Maybe it, it's that, it's that card of, I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose it. I'm holding on tight to this because we've known each other before. This is past life. It's a soulmate connection. It says stable. Yeah, this is a lot of stability, a lot of stability. This is probably the most stable Anything you've had in a long time, Capricorn, with all these pentacles. This is earth energy. This is your energy. Sorry, these two. This is passion, but this is marriage commitment. It's long term. It's stability. It's groundedness. It's all the things. There's your queen of pentacles. All we're missing is the king of pentacles, but we do have two kings and a queen. And we have another king, king of cups, king of love, and the queen of pentacles, the perfect partner. Very grounded and earthy. This is beautiful energy, you guys. I <laughs> These readings have been so crazy the last couple days with this energy. The snake. Deception. I told you, someone deceived somebody here. 
I feel like somebody deceived themselves. Truly. With, with that five of swords right here. Someone was in it to win it. They were just focused on themselves. That's what it was. This devil energy right here. They were trying to control their heart, their head. They were trying to control a situation. They were trying to control everything instead of just listening to their heart, their intuition. But now with this King of Cups, with someone's following their intuition. They've released this control. They're still very fired up and lusty and passionate and all that. But it's, it's, it's seduction, it's sexuality, but it's also deception and jealousy. Yeah, I picked that up here, Cappies. You or your person, you might be afraid that they have other options or there's other people entertaining them. You might have some competition here. Betrayal, backstab, toxic, silent treatment. Yeah, someone, I told you in the beginning, someone cut some, someone out. They block somebody. Not like literally like block them. They may have blocked them, but they just block their energy out. They, 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 they just pulled their energy back. They gave a silent treatment. And I don't feel like it was intentional, like to hurt somebody. I feel like it was just necessary. There's been a lot of healing here. What else is coming in for Capricorn? Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys, you can't make it up. You got the moon twice. This is deep, deep, deep emotion. It says intuitive. You're dealing Capricorns with a very intuitive person or you're very intuitive. Dreamy. You dream about this person. They dream about you. Artistic. Compassionate. That's what this relationship is lacking or this connection was lacking. The, the honesty, the compassion, the clarity. And that's what's coming in now. Someone sees you as very tender and loving and compassionate or whatever. Cross watcher, put yourself where you belong. This could be your person or, or Capricorn. This could be your person, not you. And then you have judgment. Judgment is the last step before a huge, huge life change. It's, it's, it's card number 21 in the major arcana. I mean, I'm sorry. It's card number 20 in the major arcana. And then card 21 is the world, which is huge cycles in life being completed. And then it changes into a new cycle. It says total transformation. Heed the call, renewal, surrender, awakening, rebirth, a clean slate. Someone wants a clean slate with you, Capricorn, or you want one with them. Clearing and purging. That's what you've been doing. You've been healing. You've been clearing. You've been purging the past the energies, the emotions, you've been healing yourself, working on yourself, you've been doing things like that, and it's amazing. Heed the call, renewal. There's something about renewing, something, someone has awoken to this connection. Oh my gosh, we're 43 minutes in, hold on guys. Gets it done, bold, brave. Count on it. Yes. Take inspired action. Yes, take inspired action, Cappies. Or your person is doing that. Someone is taking action to bring this back together. Start of the season. It's start of a new season for this connection. For you, Capricorns, I feel like your whole life has changed a lot. Original, power, new experience, starts the party, leader. I feel like maybe a lot of you are like that. You're kind of the life of the party, starts the party. You're used to like that whole energy around you. Burns out quickly, beginning, ignite. Something's going to be ignited here. Something's transforming here. It's being ignited. Um, there's a clean slate. It's rebirth. It's a resurrection of something, of this connection. Something is being brought back to life that you maybe thought was over. Element of air. We have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy coming out. Communicative. That's what it is. It's communication. Mental acuity, clever, bright ideas, cold. Someone someone turned a little cold here in the past. And then we have <laughs> then we have the wealthy man. The divine masculine. That's either you, Capricorn, or the person you're dealing with. And then you have islands. It says foreign affairs, solo, isolation, standoffish, separate, estranged, lonely, independent, refuge, and protected. With the judgment card here, this 
connection was protected, divinely connect or di divinely protected. And someone here has been very standoffish. There's you guys have been in separation. Maybe you've been feeling very lonely, Capricorn. Maybe your person's been feeling lonely. Maybe you both have been feeling lonely. I, I'm seeing the two islands here are really catching my eye. So I feel like it's both of you have been feeling really lonely. Independent. You're very independent, Capricorn. We know this. Capricorns are. And um, maybe your person is as well. Maybe that's why you guys both like, I don't know, solo isolation. Whatever it is, something major is transforming here. And what's coming in, let me just, let me just ask a final what is the final outcome here between Capricorn and their person the nine of pentacles this is someone who is you know very happy with being single and being in their life and and all, and all the things um but this is happiness it's fulfillment it's it's all that and then you have the knight of cups this is an offer a message of love Someone is very happy just being single and being on their own. Maybe that's part of the problem here or what it's, you know, maybe why someone was resisting and being blocked out because they were finally getting back into like being single or, or, or um, just enjoying being on their own. And then in comes whatever. And, you know, now all of a sudden it's like, I'm in love or I, I'm, my heart is, you know, it's, it's this whole thing, right? This is a beautiful reading, you guys. Anyways. I don't want to keep you any longer. This has been a very, very long reading, you guys. Oh my gosh. My energy is so drained today, but um, someone is coming in with love and they want, they want success here. They want to enjoy life with you. I mean, it's, there's marriage here. There's, it's everything. If this is all the things, Cappy. So I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Um, yeah, see, I, I felt that in the past or in earlier in the reading with the judgment or the um, justice card weighed down. It says heavy, weighed down, codependent, trapped, restrictions, addictions, an unhappy marriage, emotional baggage. Cappies, you might feel like, you know, maybe some of you have been married in the past or you have emotional baggage. Um, but it's time to cut these chains off. It's time to embrace love or whatever, because luck is on your side, Cappies. Luck is on your side. Huge, beautiful conclusions are within your reach and emotions are running high. I feel like your person feels the same way you do, you know? It feels mutual here with this justice. It's the scales balancing in your favor, Capricorn, but it's, it's karma balancing itself out. So whether you're the person that needs to you know, reach out and do all this, or it's your person, something's balancing out here. And I feel like this connection is a very balanced connection. So I'm sending you guys all the love and light to book a personal live reading. You can click the description box below. Um, just send me an email. We'll get you guys set up. And um, that's all I have for you guys. So if this video resonated with you, please be sure to just like that thumbs up button. It makes a big difference for me. And um, as this channel grows, I'm going to obviously put more and more videos out. I'm just happy to be here doing what I love, you guys. So mwah, have a beautiful day and I will see you guys soon.